Good morning and welcome to day uh, 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 27, I think. <laughs> yes, I think it's 27. As you can hear the road, um, I just got dropped off at Pigeon Bridge and um, it's right near I-40, which goes to Asheville and Knoxville. Uh, Asheville, North Carolina, Knoxville, Tennessee, obviously. And um, I had a wonderful night and day yesterday afternoon at the Discerning Hikers Hostel. Ken, you are amazing. You're an amazing host. Thank you for taking care of us. There was only three of us there, so it was very nice. And we went out for Mexican food last night, which was lovely. Um, I ate more than I have seen me eat in a very long time. <laughs> um, because unfortunately, one of my goals of this trip was not to lose weight, because that's not necessary for me. But um, I got on the scale yesterday and I've lost seven pounds, which is way too much. So um, I'm packing in the calories and some of the hikers were giving me some advice on how to add more protein to my meals and olive oil and so on and so forth. So um, I was a little limited in my selection at Walmart on, on trying to increase those calories. But uh, once I get to Hot Springs, um, I should be able to improve on that. So I'm not worried about it. I just want to make, you know, keep an eye on it. Um, anyway, uh, we are heading up to Snow Snowbird Mountain, I think it is. We have about 15.5 miles. Today is, today is Wednesday. I am not taking a zero as planned um, because a couple of reasons the hiker I was gonna help couldn't make it. Um, and we're, I'm gonna see her on Monday in Hot Springs instead for her injury. And the other reason is my husband Oliver is coming. He's on a flight on Friday and he's gonna meet me in Hot Springs and we're gonna spend the weekend uh, slack packing. Uh, which means that you continue to hike on the Appalachian Trail, but you wind up at the same place each night. You get a shuttle to bring you back. Um, and you only have to carry a day pack, which is really nice. So uh, we're still gonna be moving forward north in terms of my progress, but um, we don't have to carry a full pack because he's not gonna, we're not gonna sleep in the wilderness. So, all right, well, that's the update from day 27 and 15.5 um, miles ahead. It's supposed to be on and off rain showers today. Um, so not the greatest of weather, but right now it's not too cold. It's supposed to get colder. They're even talking about snow in the higher elevations um, later today. I should hit 4,000 feet, but by the time the snow comes, I should be down by 2,000 feet, um, which is where I'll be sleeping, which should be fine. All right, enough, time to move on. Um, love you all. Have a great Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, I think it's Wednesday. All right. Take care. Okay, so we're about to approach Max Patch, which is a, uh, another iconic um, landscape of the Appalachian Trail. Uh, as you can see, it's misty and I'm in a cloud. So usually there are really cool views from up here, but um, not today, but that's okay. We're moving forward and it has a beauty of its own. So we're not disappointed because we're moving forward. And so far we've climbed about five miles and we are at the summit of Snowbird Mountain. And there it is. So maybe, maybe I'm not at Max Pass yet. <laughs> I actually have to look at the map because if we just summoned a snowbird, well, I thought match pack, I thought it was right after it. So maybe we are, I'll let you know. <laughs> I'll drop it in the, uh, 
in the uh, in the next video <laughs> when I post this. All right, we're gonna move on. So far, we're we're warm. We're not soaked, but we're moving. All right, catch you later. So we're sitting on a couple of logs right now. <clears throat> we're gonna have a lunch break. Lunch is pink salmon, wild Alaskan pink salmon, salmon, and some flatbread. <laughs> We're gonna make that into a little wrap. Um, so as I was coming down um, this mountain, um, I bumped into Dada and um, Badger, who I told you about, wonderful people from, he's from the UK and uh, they live in Florida now. And they were heading towards me. Of course, my first thought was, oh, am I going in the wrong direction? Cause I know they're northbound like I am. And they said, oh, no, 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 they are doing 19 miles today. Crazy. They're doing 19 miles today. They were dropped off at Lemon Gap and they're walking south to Pigeon Bridge, where I started from. Um, I'm, I started from Pigeon, Bri Pigeon Bridge and I'm walking north 15.5 uh, miles to Roaring Fork Shelter. They're going to be... And then tomorrow they're going to get dropped off at Lemon Gap and then um, hike into Hot Springs because they'll be further north than I am because they're doing 19 and I'm doing 15, <laughs> 15 and a half. Um, but correction, um, that was not Max Patch before. That was the summit of um, Snowbird Mountain. It was the highest elevation that we're going to be today. And uh, it was very windy and very cold. I am now getting the feeling back in my hands <laughs> and the sun is out so it's crazy weather but it's been it was really cool so I'm hoping by the time I get to Max Patch which is 6.6 .6 miles from here and the shelter is where I'll be spending the night is 8.5 from here I'm hoping when I get to Max, Max Patch the sun will still be out that would be wonderful Anyway, we are going to take a little break here. Micah has already lied down. And uh, we'll check in with you later. All right. Hope you're all having a great Wednesday. We have a saying in New England, in fall, in fall and spring, if, uh, if you don't like the weather, wait a minute. Well, I think they should adopt that same saying in North Carolina and Tennessee this time of year, which is spring, of course. Um, so I have had three costume changes <laughs> um, today. I started with my um, hiking pants with my Merino wool t-shirt and full rain gear on top of that um, when I was summiting Snowbird. And then as I got to the other side, the wind really kicked up. It was really cold. I was actually feeling quite hypothermic. So I found a place that was out of the wind and changed into my long sleeve um, base layer and hat and gloves. So my hands were freezing. And then full rain gear over that just to protect um, myself from the dampness and the, and the mist and a little bit of rain. And then we stopped for lunch and I took all my rain gear off and I am just now down to my long sleeve base layer and my hiking pants and it's 63 degrees. <laughs> so yes, I'm down in elevation, but I mean, all the mist, all the rain is gone. Blue skies, incredible. So there is snow in the forecast for this evening. Um, since I'm going to Roaring Fork Shelter, which is at 2,700 feet, something like that, it's not that high, um, the snow probably won't stick. It might snow, but it, it won't stick. Um, however, they're saying at higher elevations, there could be some accumulation but I don't have to worry about that because that's not where I'm sleeping tonight. Anyway, so crazy weather here in 
uh, where am I, Tennessee? Soon back to be in North Carolina, Tennessee, North Carolina, Tennessee, North Carolina. It just keeps changing. So um, that kind of makes it kind of fun. All right, I'll check in with you when I get to Max, the real Max patch. <laughs> the one that's coming up. All right, hope you're all having a great day. On our way to Max Patch, been climbing for a long time, and uh, yeah, we should be there soon. All right, I hope when we get there, we have a view. I could see some clouds to the north, so I don't know. <laughs> Remains to be seen. All right, we reached the infamous iconic Max Patch. It's blowing, blowing up here. forward. This is match Max Patch. And you'll see when I get to the other side the mountains on the right. I feel like you could just touch the clouds. So cool. It was snowing before. Sorry. Sorry about that. It was snowing before. Just sort of flakes coming down. to the Roaring Fork Shelter and we have Chuck from South Dakota South Dakota mailman from Charlotte mailman from Charlotte peanut butter from Germany we're from Germany I tell my family Heidelberg Heidelberg and that's where I'm gonna be from Massachusetts 
Last mile from Scotland. Last mile from Scotland. Kai from Illinois. Kai from Illinois. And just want to show you what the weather is doing right now. So, as you know, this morning there was rain, there was fog, then there was sun, and it was 65 degrees or 61 degrees. Then it was windy, then it was cold, and now it's snowing. Life on the Appalachian Trail, you never know what you're gonna get. <laughs>